if you try leaving your pup alone, well, this video is for you. Don't go anywhere. Leaving a pup behind can be dreadful for them and not easy to handle. As much as Shiba Inus are okay when they are left alone, some of them can have anxiety or get annoyed to be left behind and we all know that they can be feisty. As much as it is tempting to say goodbye to your pet, pat them on the head or give them kisses, it's definitely something you want to avoid. What I like to do is leave the house without even acknowledging him, so not say bye. And something else I find helpful is leaving something playing in the background, whether it is TV, Sirius XM, or just my favorite Spotify playlist. We all know that Aoki tends to get anxious when he hears banging, so having music playing really helps attenuate those sounds while I'm away. My third tip is to get your pup a puzzle where he'll just be able to focus his energy and mine, whether it is a level one or advanced puzzle. I find that Aoki doesn't really care whenever he has those at hand. When I step out of the door, he's just focused and this is exactly what you want. We talked about it last week, but if you missed it, we're talking about lick mats. My go-to is the chill mats from Peachy Dogs. Not lying, I'm using them every day ever since I got them. They are amazing if you need to step out the door, go do your groceries, have fun with your friends, and you need to leave your pup alone. I use different treats or just his regular meal on them. This calming spread has melatonin and chamomile, which will calm your pup down if they're getting anxious that you're leaving. Okay, so Aoki tends to watch me leave the house, which I find adorable, but I try not to look back at him, which is really tough, as you can imagine. What is nice though, is that I can peek at what he's doing after I leave, because I still use the cameras I installed a few months ago, and if you missed that video, feel free to check that out. I'll link it down below. Therefore, those are very convenient whenever I leave for long hours, aka friends night out, or simply because I'm out doing the groceries. Having those cameras help my own anxiety, and I can rest assured that he's doing perfectly fine. Now, you may have guessed it, if you can't say bye, well, you can't say hi. You want to avoid hyping up your arrival back home, which is counterproductive. If they were anxious of you leaving the house, it takes up to 10 long minutes before you can acknowledge them. And trust me, those are the longest 10 minutes ever. Aoki's always happy to see me when I come back. He has the biggest smile, kisses nonstop, and will try to get pats and rubs. But I try as much as I can to not break my composure. If I do, I will reinforce the fact that me coming back is positive. But what you want is you leaving or coming back has zero importance to them. If you achieve this, you will avoid them being anxious and not feeling good whenever you leave. If you're just starting to leave your pup home alone, I recommend doing so by intervals of 30 to 40 minutes, then increase the time as you go. This is where the cams, baby gates, and playpen will come in handy. You'll thank me later. So that's it guys, you are all set for your next grocery run. If you are a new parent, check out this playlist. You will find more info on raising your doggo. Meanwhile, I thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye.